Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we've got three subscriber store reviews to go through with you. Getting feedback on your site is a critical component to your success, especially if you're new to the whole Shopify and e-commerce and dropshipping business. It doesn't matter how good your product is or how good your offer is. If you don't have the Shopify store to back it up, that looks professional and trustworthy. They're the two most important things I'm going to be looking at through these stores. Then ultimately your customers won't trust you and they won't be buying from you. So today we've got a couple of general stores to look through. One of them is kind of like focused on gadgets and then at the end, the third store we're gonna be looking at is one product branded store, a really great example of what you should be striving to achieve. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learned something new and let's jump straight into store number one. So the first store we're gonna be looking at today is called cosmos-universe.com. Right off the bat, the first thing that kind of sticks out to me is the fact that I can barely recognize the logo. It's so small. Your logo is a vital part of your business and a key to your success. You want your logo to imprint in people's minds. So when they're flicking through different websites when they're flicking through social media which is a busy enough kind of space as it is you want your logo to be easily recognizable because then it gives them a reason to stop because they see something that they recognize if your logo is super small like this then obviously you won't get the opportunity to do that next up their cover image is it's a cool image but it doesn't really do anything for the business doesn't really say anything doesn't feature any products nothing like that down in the bottom right hand corner we can see they've got kind of two different chat functions which kind of contradict each other so that definitely needs clearing up and one of those removing moving down down now we've got lots of different colors on screen to my mind this isn't very visually pleasing so this site has lots and lots of different colors on this particular screen right now I can see one two three four five six different colors we have the background color we have the red writing and text we have the yellow review stars we have kind of like the price that's been crossed out sale price and then we have the actual price of the product and then we have the actual background of that kind of section in a site try and keep it simple no more than say three or four colors you want a background color white works often the best number two is you want a font color you want this to be black or kind of like a really dark gray and then number three you want an accent color the accent color ideally ties in with your logo so if for example, for this particular site, it's a red, you would have your add to cart button in a red. You would have the announcement bar at the top in a red, which they do, but try and limit to three colors only. When we look at the menu as well, there's also another color which is introduced here. There's no kind of brand uniformity throughout this site. When we have a look at the collection page, we can see the kind of drop down menu here has a purple background and black text, which makes it difficult to read. Now, if we have a look at a product page, we can see the bar at the top with kind of like the dark bluey greeny um, background again with black text makes it difficult to read in my opinion this doesn't look very professional again they have the variant boxes with a purple color there's just lots and lots of different colors lots and lots of different things going on in my mind it just doesn't come across as very professional if I was a customer on this site, I wouldn't trust it and I would probably look elsewhere to get this same product. Moving down, their product description actually doesn't look too bad. One way I would improve this though is by having a white background and then those kind of icons would then tie in more seamlessly. It's the same case down near their footer. They have the icons with 15,000 satisfied customers, fast inquirers response. That needs to be 24 seven customer service, UK based or something like that. Verified store quality, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, but again, I think a white background would help those icons tie in nicely and just look, ultimately look a bit more aesthetic and a bit more professional. Moving down into their footer, their footer looks really good. The only thing I would improve here is the logo. Try and encompass the background color into the logo again so it just flows seamlessly and looks really pleasing to the eye. One thing I noticed on this particular product as well is currently there's no reviews and for the price tag of the product at over £100, the majority of people who come onto your site asking somebody to spend this sort of money with no kind of social proof or evidence that it's a good product, i.e. reviews, is going to be really difficult to convert them. To summarize then, it's a good start to a store, but overall it just needs kind of tweaking and fine tuning just to make the whole kind of site tie in nicely to each other um, and make it more branded and uniform throughout. Ultimately, this will make it more trustworthy. Add some reviews as well. There's definitely work to be done on this store before you move on to Facebook ads. In my mind, to spend money on advertising now would be budget wasted. I would definitely devote the next kind of week or two to sorting your store, getting it nice and professional, nice and branded and uniform throughout, have a clear message of what you're trying to achieve and the kind of products you're trying to sell before then moving on 
to marketing. So next up we have brilliantbuy365.com. Kind of sounds like a shopping channel like over here in the UK. We have QVC and like those sorts of channels, which is absolutely fine as long as it comes through with that kind of sense of presence within the site and it gives across that kind of feel. Having a look at this product page, we can see they have a branded name in the top left corner of the actual product, but then going down, looking into the kind of name of the actual product in the description itself, there's no mention of what this brand is or what the name of this is. These look like images that have simply been imported across from AliExpress or wherever they're supplying, sourcing this product from. In my mind, it's a big no-no. In my experience, the best thing you can do is remove these names and if anything at all, replace it with your own branded name or at least kind of encompass the brand of the product into the description to make out that it's an original product and not just some random brand. If we have a look at this section here, we can see they've still got the tax included and they've added kind of free shipping to the end of it. In my opinion, I would remove the tax included note and just leave free shipping in there. No need to have three exclamation marks. We're not messaging a friend. It's a bit too casual in my mind. Ultimately, you want your store to come across as more professional than casual. We can see the name of the variant colors is using the American spelling. So assuming their tag is in the American audience, that's always fine, no worries there. It's just something that I see a lot of people forget to do. If we look at the add to cart button, we can see it kind of just blends in with the rest of the site with a white background and so on. If it was me, I would make this color the same color as the announcement bar at the top. Going back to those three accent colors, you want your add to cart button to stick out. Um, and be kind of like a big presence on the page. So it encourages people to click it. Product description for this particular product is a bit boring, to be honest, a bit bland. Um, doesn't really do much in terms of encouraging the customer to read on. Um, in my opinion, for a product like this, I actually have this product. It's actually over my shoulder on those drawers behind me. It's not switched on at the moment, but it's actually a pretty cool product once it's got going. So I definitely include a GIF or some images of it actually in motion and working with the lights on, just to kind of encourage people to to actually see it and think, oh, that's pretty cool, I'm gonna buy that. The price point for this product, in my opinion, is super expensive too. You don't have to compete with Amazon and eBay, but the closer you can get, the better. 38 pounds is super expensive. I think I paid maybe 20 pounds for that one. Moving down, they have looks reviews installed, which is great, one of the best photo review apps you can get. Um, what I'm checking for here is that the actual reviews themselves make sense. A lot of reviews that get imported from AliExpress are broken English or don't really make sense or have lots and lots of spelling mistakes and to be honest, look quite dodgy. And ultimately these will be more harmful than beneficial to your business. If we take a look at the footer, we can see there's another color introduced here. There's no logo either. In terms of the actual pages they have on this store, they have everything apart from, if I'm not mistaken, a track your order page. If it was up to me, I would definitely include a track your order page. It shows you're actively shipping your orders and it also shows customers can kind of keep on top and keep updated with the status of their order as well. They have this reviews page, which I'm not seeing done very often before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine or 10 reviews, not really worth having in my opinion. What's actually really good about this store is if we have a look at the contact information, they have an email, which is a custom domain and they have an address. They could potentially add a phone number here as well as a contact form but ultimately, in my opinion, they have all the required information you would need. To finish off this site then, I would just spend a bit of time before you advertise any products on the housekeeping issues. They're using different fonts, so for example, for the actual name of the product versus the font in their logo. If you can make this uniform throughout, it'll tie in really nicely. If we go through the purchase process then for this particular product to check out what this looks like, they have Apple Pay on there, which is really good. Definitely recommended that along with PayPal. They have a cart button, which comes, as uh, sorry, they have a cart pay Page draw which comes down from the top. Personally, I like to divert people straight to the cart page just to kind of remove one of those extra clicks to make the purchase process that much faster for your customers. Apart from that, their cart page looks good. Again, apart from that default note of saying tax included. Moving on to the third and final store then, I'm really excited to show you this store because in my opinion, it's just a great example of what everybody should be striving to achieve with their Shopify store. So they have halobottle.com. First thing you think when you look at this is it's super professional. They have a really kind of clean, minimum minimalistic cover photo featuring the actual product itself. Uh, they have the cookies bar again, which just kind of comes across as professional. It's the sort of thing you would expect to see if you're based in the UK or the EU. The fonts they've used tie in 
so far. So you can see if we look at the announcement bar and then the word bottle in the logo, and then if we also look at this time to level up your hydration game, if I'm not, and the word menu too, if I'm not mistaken, these are all the same fonts. So as you can see, everything just kind of comes into one package and looks really nice. The colors they've used as well are kind of minimalistic, kind of light pastel -y colors, which again kind of fits in with the theme of the name Halo Bottle. Moving down the home page, more original content, an actual branded product. In my opinion, somebody's much better off spending an extra two months and an extra say thousand pounds building out a site that looks as professional as this with the original content this by far will set you apart from the rest of the competition and it will increase your chances of success tenfold one tiny little thing here is towards the bottom of the home page we can see they have a review kind of scroller in my opinion the layout of this doesn't look that great either remove this and keep it on the product pages only or try and find one that kind of displays it just in a in a more visually pleasing fashion moving down towards the bottom of the page we can see they have their logo in a circular background to make it just pop and stand out again rather than use a harsh black the views kind of like a darkish gray off black just to kind of desensitize how much it contrasts against the rest of the site which is perfect again everything is all about tying in and making the site look uniform towards the kind of brand and feel you're trying to give across they have the instagram feed app as well integrated onto their site which again features original imagery of the actual product itself which is perfect again the professionalism of this site is second to none one thing to point out on this page the collection page the names of the products a lot of people will just import their products across from aliexpress and just say it how it is whereas these guys have actually branded these bottles and named them certain things so obviously on the top left it's called vespa if you think of kind of like the classic italian vespas they're that sort of color typically so it ties in quite nicely it's just a nice touch they have pebble they have riviera just really nice touch it makes the product come across as branded and owned by this particular brand if that makes sense taking a look at the product page i really like this section here we can see the add to cart button it is in kind of like a peachy color which is also the same color as these different buttons here if we move to the bottom of the page into the footer we can see this use that same kind of peachy color so it goes back to that point in which i mentioned in the earlier reviews is using say three to four different colors maximum. I really like this tab feature which they have under the A to C button. Essentially the customer gets all the information they possibly need about this particular item without having to scroll down um, lots of distance. They have these kind of custom icons that match the different features. They have the specs and then they have the shipping information. All the information is right there, easy to consume, easy to digest to make the decision that much easier for the customer to make a purchase or not. Moving down into the product description, more original imagery. I can't stress enough how much this will separate you from the competition. They have the key things they want a customer's eyes to be drawn to out in bold. So the chances are somebody isn't gonna read paragraphs and paragraphs about your product. But just skimming through, we can see most compact insulated bottle ever, 25% lighter, zero leaks and wide mouth. I haven't got to read everything else to know exactly what this product does. The same here with premium materials, 304 stainless steel, 100% BPA free, anti-chip and a luxury feel. And then classically at the bottom of their product page they have customer reviews with an average rating of 4.95. So as good as this product is and looks, it hasn't got five out of five stars, which is completely normal. If you have 50, 60 reviews and they're all five stars, something's gonna smell fishy to your customers. And again, it's gonna put them off because they won't trust you. If we have a look at their customer service page, it's a great example of again, of what people should be striving for. They have a custom domain email address, hello at halobottle.com. They have a telephone number. They might not answer this telephone number. It might just be a pre-recorded answer phone message, but it's still fine. It still shows that there's an extra way, a legitimate way of getting hold of this business, which is ultimately what people want to see. It comes back to that whole trustworthiness argument. They have a help center, which takes you to a list of pre-answered questions. They have a contact form, and then they have an integrated map, which shows the location of this business. Anybody coming onto this site wouldn't think twice about about actually trusting this business and making a purchase with them. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up. Hopefully you guys learned something new and there's some takeaways from this video which you can implement into your own stores which will help you be more successful. One final quick message before you go, if you are looking for a program to get you started down the right track that also comes with my full support and guidance, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. There'll be a link down in the description. If you wanna hop on the phone too with me one-on-one -on -one and just go through any questions or hesitations you could potentially have about joining, uh, that's fine, it's a free service and we can do that, no problem at all. Thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one.